I know that some people are just born loving the idea of long-term relationships, but for some, like myself, it's a little more complicated. Part of me has always known that I wanted to end up in a relationship, but still there was something so depressing about them. In fact, there is a home video of me when I am five years old saying to my mom, I don't want to get married when I'm older. Why is that, sweetie? Why not? Princess gets married, the movie is over. Yeah, and that's the end of the story. But the thing is, I kind of had a point. And actually, it wasn't until just recently that I developed my own personal rationale for why I don't have to be so depressing. So here is my own number one reason I am no longer scared of commitment. Between the way people discuss relationships and the way that we see them in movies, I don't know how you could not have a hang up about a relationship. First, I've been surrounded my entire life with people who just tell me that relationships just get dull and boring and that's just how it is. Secondly, like I said when I was a kid, getting together is always the romantic part of the movie. It's always the beginning, the coming together, everything falling in place. It's filled with all of the new experiences and the intrigue and the excitement. And then once they fully get together, the movie is always over. And then what fully solidified my complete fear of can I stay in a long long-term relationship without going completely insane was how bored of people I got when I was dating. I'm sure there are people where it's after two years, after 10 months, but six months was the marker for when it would get dull for me. The beginning dating part was always fun. There was always this glow, this romantic movie part. Then around that six month marker, the glow would fade and I would get bored again. But then I met Corey, my now current boyfriend, and something was just different. There was that initial movie glow in the beginning, but then at six months, it was still there. And then at 12 months, it was still there. This had been the first time ever for me. And so this is my very obvious, but at the time not so obvious personal discovery that I made and my weird analogy to go with it. Without always being fully aware of it, a lot of times I was only able to connect and see these people that I was dating at a very surface layer. And so with this, the only way to keep it interesting is to physically change that person. But when I met Corey, I connected and saw him at a deeper level. And then realized not only is there then so much more to keep you interested, but also he was changing in little ways all the time. I mean, we're human. It's just that on the surface, you may not always be able to see these changes, but I could because I could really see him. And so he's always been interesting. So for natural relationship enthusiasts, I'm sure the beauty of commitment has always been very obvious. But for others like myself, not always, and it never hurts to have a little extra reassurance that it's not the scariest thing in the world. And while I'm not naive and I know that relationships can always be a honeymoon phase, I don't think that part of being mature, for me at least, is accepting myself being unhappy in something. It's like, in a weird way, it can feel like a bunch of first dates because the guy that I went on a date with last month is slightly different than the guy that I'm going going on a date with this month, except that with these first dates, every one of them is already with someone that you love.